we've done uh, five principles about counting. We did the addition principle, the multiplication principle, the complement principle, the notice when two things are the same principle, and the count things multiple times in a controlled way principle. And then from there, we went through some of the ABCs that come up a lot in counting, combinations and permutations. And now we're doing the next step, which is to go through some more ABCs that come up in counting. And finishing up those ABCs, we'll move on to the inclusion-exclusion theorem, which I taught you back in set theory. And we're going to see how that connects back to counting problems. That is really a generalization of this complement principle. The inclusion-exclusion principle, if you remember how it works, is looking at the stuff that doesn't intersect, but they overlap. So it's kind of a generalized complement principle, and it's a lot trickier. But it lets you solve incredibly difficult-sounding problems. So we're going to get to that today. Once we're done with that, we're done with what I think are more or less the basics of counting. There's one more principle, which is really all on its own. And it's a really simple principle called the pigeonhole principle. And it basically means that if you've got five pigeonholes and six pigeons, that when you're all done putting your pigeons in the pigeonholes, there's going to be one hole that's got at least two pigeons. It's like, it's like a no-brainer principle. But there are surprisingly subtle things you can prove with that simple principle. And actually, there are such things as pigeonholes down in caves, these little niches out. And people used to raise pigeons in them. So if you ever saw a cave with pigeonholes in the wall, you'd see why they call this the pigeonhole principle. It looks just like you'd think. And when you're out of room for pigeons, <laughs> right, yeah, right. <laughs> There's a lot of flying pigeons around. OK. Uh, The very last thing in this whole unit will be we're going to take all the stuff we've done on counting, the principles, the ABCs, the inclusion-exclusion helper uh, generalization of the complement principle, and we're going to take it all and see how does this connect to certain kinds of probability questions. And probability is a course that you can take independent of a combinatorics course. And when it's typically taught, it's taught in a very, very widespread way, often getting into statistics, often getting into calculus and continuous kind of things. The probability that we talk about in this class is a subset of that course called discrete probability, a very small subset. And it deals with probability that you can actually count. And it's really almost a 10-minute lecture on probability at most, and really just let's do all the stuff we did before on counting, but related to probability. So it's not going to be anything new. It's just going to be applications of counting to probability in a discrete way. So the real principles are really today and next lecture, and then it'll be just probability as an application. All right, questions? All right, so here's.